Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to install a new dispenser control board. In many refrigerators, the dispenser control board regulates power to the water valve and the ice auger motor. In some models, the control board will have a display and will have controls for adjusting temperature and the lights. If the board is faulty, it may affect one or more of these functions. Control boards are pretty simple to replace, but are non-returnable after installation. A lot of problems can also be caused by other components, so it's best to do some tests first. You can learn more in the troubleshooting videos linked below. Now if you're confident that the control board is faulty, then let's get started. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver. Keep in mind there is some variation between models and not all refrigerators will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your refrigerator and where they are located. First, slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, unplug the cord to disconnect the power. Close the shutoff valve to turn off the water supply. In this case, you can work on the refrigerator in place with it still against the wall. First, remove the display module. In some models, this will be held in by screws. Other models will snap into place. You can use a flat blade screwdriver to help release the panel. Now, take a picture of the wires for reference. Next, disconnect the wires. Now remove the display module. In some models, you might also have to remove several mounting screws. Now lift up the tabs and remove the control board. If the board was mounted on the module, then align the new control board and snap it into place. If needed, tighten the mounting screws. Reconnect the wire harness. Align the display module onto the mount. Now tighten the screws. If needed, replace the outer panel. Open the shutoff valve. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now test the refrigerator to see if it's working properly. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.